Hey yo, you already know who it is. <coughs> nah, that was too. Hey yo, you already know who it is. It's your boy Tiny Films in the cut, yeah. and we are out here. Episode number. Damn, we're gonna start losing track. I think it's number ten, man. See who miss. Episode number ten of BTC. That is behind the creation of the podcast where we speak to about that are behind the creation of Easy. Damn, son. You know that's your photographers, your filmmakers, your graphic designers, your script writers, your directors. Visual artist ETC, and today we're out here with the homeboy straight from the 035. What's good? See, I'm going yoga. What did you do, my G? This is awkward as fuck. In (laughs) choose one, bro. (laughs) (laughs) That's good, bro. I'm good at yourself, bro. Ah, man, I can't complain. I can't complain. Yeah, but now I don't want to, I don't want to rush. I mean, I don't want to like. Jump into conclusions. Oh, okay. I didn't want to introduce you because I don't want to say, hey, I'm out here with a filmmaker. Which I had to filmmake. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Doing some photos. Um, so, yeah. What were you doing now, man? So, today, my day started at half past, half past eight, going to nine. I was shooting a music video, yeah, uh, MC Reggie. Oh shit! What's uh, that? Finished at around midday. You remember the MC Reggie music video? E. See on See on a cool and yeah, that's, 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 that's that boy son in the club. You, you know that nigga. You, you know hey, that, that boy. Name. That boy got the juice. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> it's a special one. That one. Yeah, but um, <laughs> it's not about him right now. Um, yeah, man. Went straight from there. Went to um, a show. Where were you shooting this video, sir? Uh, what's this place called, bro? There's a, there's a, I don't know, in Westwalk, sorry. Westwalk, uh, where they make clothes and... I don't know, Anyazi Westwalk, yes. Yeah, but there's like a building there in Westwalk. And it's like a tall-ass building with like floors and floors of people just making clothes, printing merch and stuff. Yeah. Um, so the setup, we wanted it to be like a photo shoot slash, you know... Video. measuring uh, okay. clothes and stuff fitting type thing yeah so yeah this nigga <coughs> um that mc reggie knows hooked up a spot and mm. we did that started yesterday um but we had to continue today okay so before we get into because i wanted to actually ask a few questions about your process mm. but we were still establishing Ogotsi, Usibo and yoga what is he the brand what is it Yo, what the <laughs> fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, man? by by qualification, I'm a graphic designer. Oh, okay. Um, finished qualification school, as in oh, you studied yeah, this. Oh, okay. bachelor and yeah. everything for that. Um, but I'm more of a videographer than a graphic designer. Yeah. So the first. First two years of my career, I was a graphic designer at an agency called Guerrilla Creative Media. Okay. I worked, um, I first interned in 2017 on my third year of varsity. And they took me, they gave me an offer um, mid-year in July. If if I pass, hey, you know that's just, if I pass Uh. um, and graduate, I can step in. So I did the internship, finished it. Literally, I finished school on, it was a Friday, no? On Monday, I was starting the job in December. Oh, shit. Literally. So, straight after school, I went into working. So, you were blessed? In a way, yeah, man. I can say that's, right, that's, that's my whole life, bro. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, define yourself as a, uh, you're a videographer, but you qualified uh, graphic designer. So mm. now, when does the? Because I I didn't even know that you're gonna mention it's either not not that you mentioned it's either graphic mm. design or videography, but you didn't really mention the photography side because mm. that's also another thing that you do like more often. I yeah. think more often than video. Or is it? Do you think it's balanced? I think I do video more than anything. Is it okay? Um. So, starting from the graphic design, I stopped graphic design because. I saw all the cool shit that they were doing with video. Man, there's so this other thing. To, sorry to cut you there. There's this other thing that you did. I think it was with Vans. Oh, yeah, 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 the yeah. black yeah. and red thing you did. Yeah. I think it was, when was that? 2019. Yo, bro, that was 
2019, 2018. So, so do, you, do you call that videography or graphic designing? A bit of both. But Is it? I think with videography to term like to actually define that term videography is a whole process so videography is literally picking up a camera taking it shooting stuff and editing and stuff like that so so the whole package the um, whole post pre post and yeah okay um the other professionals can correct me if i'm wrong but um if you like joining animation with you know graphic design elements with uh, motion design and stuff. Yeah. That's technically multimedia slash motion design. It's not necessarily videography. Okay. So videography is basically what you and I do now is we literally wake up, we go shoot something, we edit it. That's videography. But then our multimedia you're saying is that the whole graphic design whatnot. Yeah. So like halfway through <coughs> my career at um, Guerrilla Creative Media. Yeah. I went from being a graphic designer to a multimedia graphic designer. Okay. So it's not just now designing flat stuff, it's making shit move, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. not like just designing a, for a poster, for, exa for example. It's not just designing a flat poster and making it look pretty, but now it's making it move, move. And making it come Animates, to life. Animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess that's how you kind of define multimedia and also you do more than one thing. So you're not just a graphic designer, you're not just a video editor, you are a lot of things. Sorry, I'll just watch out the bang if you can actually. Sorry. But yeah, <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are a lot of things. That's why multimedia. So okay. you do a lot of things that kind of come together. But someone comes to you, hey bro, what are you, from the top of your mind, I'm a videographer. Yeah. So now videographer. In, in 2021, yes. So now videographer, can you differentiate for me, please, for my conscious so like differentiates a uh, filmmaker and videographer so it's kind of tricky bro because uh, okay because so, now sorry so for me it's like um i don't know i just feel like uh, i don't know if it's me overthinking or just mm. by the sound of it just like one is a little bit more you know, one sounds like it has more weight than the other, which mm. is filmmaker. Yeah. Filmmaker just sounds like it has more weight than yeah, yeah, videographer, yeah. you know. But then now, if I come to someone and say, no, I'm a filmmaker, now they're thinking big production movies mm. type of thing, you know. They're not thinking about, you know, music videos, commercials, yeah. uh, whatnot. So, hey, bro, <coughs> like, in the past, <coughs> excuse me, in the past three to two to three years, mm. those terms or definitions have kind of changed. <coughs> so back then those terms were literally for people that make movies a filmmaker you'd only find them in the movie industry a cinematographer movie industry yeah so now with platforms like instagram and stuff like that those things have been i wouldn't say watered down but simplified you okay. can get a cinematographer for um, an ad you can get a cinematographer for, for contents you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah and you can get you can get a, a film filmmaker hiring a vide videographer you know what I'm saying okay because um, so now but then a what, filmmaker, becomes, what becomes a filmmaker ultimately is like so a producer yeah almost like a almost like a director okay but he knows like all the elements um, that's from what I understand from this mm. stuff like again people can correct me if I'm wrong but um, it's almost like, uh, let's use Sonia Kleiber, for example. Sure. Yeah? He knows how to... I think he's average, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, he thinks he's a shit, bro. Yeah, but <laughs> um, he knows how to do photography. He knows how to do video. He knows how to edit. Oh, he does? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's probably gonna press stop on the on these cameras, bro. But anyway, yeah, he knows that process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he understands the bigger picture more than the people recording. So okay. you would call him. So a, okay, yeah. You'd call him a filmmaker slash director, mm. and he would get videographers or cinematographers to finish the job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if that's a much clearer. I think that makes separation. sense. <coughs> but like. I'm not debating, but I think in the same sense as well, though, you would get where the cinematographer 
there's a director on set, but the cinematographer is also more or less the filmmaker. No? I I forgot I his name. Guy, I think it's Guy Ritchie. I, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know him, bro. Guy Ritchie, uh, he's like, I usually see him in credits as a cinematographer and a director. So would you define him as like a... I don't know him, so I don't want to speak on that. <laughs> ne? But um, that combination there. Yeah, the it, it's, it, and, uh, it's possible. Uh, uh, uh. But um, again, it goes into the thing of roles. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So do you, for example, if you get hired for an event, sure. shop, you know that you can do photography and videography. Do you want to do both? Or do you want them to hire a photographer and a videographer? You know what I'm saying? So we all know how to do everything, but when it comes to a specific job in a team, there needs to be roles assigned. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, like at work, for example, where I work, ne? there's a group of designers and I'm the videographer slash video editor. Mm. I know how to graphic design just like them. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, they are more sharp because they do this on a day-to-day. -day. Daily and they focus on that. Yeah, but they are, I can't now define myself as a graphic designer as well. Because my job is to be a videographer. Yeah. And their job is to be <coughs> graphic designers. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's the best way to put it is that it's all about roles. So okay. even if you know how to do everything, you need to assign yourself a role so you are best, how can I say, that you perform the best in that role. In that role. Yeah. So is it fair though to say that, okay, then, I guess, I want to clamp on my level or your level. Mm. Uh, I'm actually talking about the opposite. You could see, like, you know, the music videos that we do, whatnot. It's mm. like, we cinematograph, direct, edit. Mm. So, in that sense, in that industry, in that, like, little bit dumbed down industry, mm. we would be filmmakers. Yeah, in a sense, because we do everything. We do everything. Yeah. So, in, in, because nowadays. So, we videographer do our own, own is shit. the process. Filmmaker is. The whole it's the thing. whole thing packaged, yes. Okay. As, as the term says, film maker. He makes films. How he makes it doesn't matter, but sure. he makes films. He makes it. Um, he or she. Sorry, I'm not being sexist here. Yeah. But that whole the term explains itself. Yeah. How he gets to the final product that's his business, but he makes films. That's what he does for a living. So let's talk about that process thing. Mm -hmm. So like you were saying today, you were shooting something with MC Reggie. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys, where were you? So I've never heard of this uh, place. Westwalk in town. West, Westwalk in town because yeah, you wanted a certain type of look. Mm -hmm. So um, can you talk to us, like break it down to us about your music video, um, how you plan, you know, how what the, um, the work you put in before you actually get on set. So it's like location scouting, the mm -hmm. treatment. So yeah. for this one, especially the MC Reggie one, he wanted to play a big part in directing and planning and stuff. Um, so I won't focus on, on, on that. Yeah? How do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel about I, artists that... I kind of like that because it shows that they know what they want. They know what they want, okay. Even with, like, clients. If, if a client comes to you and gives you something to work with, mm. I think it's better than them saying, ah, be creative. Oh, shit. You don't know where to start, you don't know where to finish. You know what I'm saying? So, but then, like, isn't it, isn't it ever that, 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 not necessarily fear, but the thing of, because I, I know I've worked, I don't know if you can, mm -hmm. have you ever worked with, okay, yeah, let me ask that. Have you ever worked with someone like MC Rage that says, okay, yeah, I want to direct, but then now, someone that now is telling you every single thing to do? Yeah. I, I've, How I've, do you <laughs> deal with those? I've had know it all. I've had a few situations. How do you like deal that. with the know it alls? At the end of the day, bro, <laughs> it depends. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Ne? So, if someone pays you to shoot and they tell you what to do, that's up to them. Sure. They paid you to do something and they know what they're doing. If they are mad with the results, that's their own fault because they directed you so if they but then if they direct like but also as you as a the head creative must suggest things okay so but, but if, if they don't listen to you that's their own fault oh so you don't you don't debate with them if they tell you something shit yeah like they tell you hey do this all you can do is is film to the best of your ability 
and if they think it's not how they imagined it it's it's their own fault so be it. you know what i'm saying so, so basically you, you, sh- you shouldn't personalize it yeah so it's like bro it's like uh an, an artist for example if they want a music video um and they show you a video of another famous artist yeah big budgets flames in the background and everything <laughs> And they're like, I want something like I that. But something like this. I've, I've only got a thousand rand. Ah, wait, 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 scream, wait, wait. Okay, let's not get into <laughs> no, that. No, let's not get into that. Process, process. Bit of process, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you take it. So <laughs> clearly, <laughs> okay. So, um, so I'm used to working how I work at work, ne? Um, but I under understand the processes. Let me. So let me tell you how I work, where I work, and for my own. Okay. So where I work, I work with a team. There's a creative head, there's a copywriter, there's um, brand managers and stuff. They get the information from the clients. What does the client want? Um, hey, your your clients are bothering us here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, like there there's. There's people assigned for like different roles, ne? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if it's what she said? <laughs> <laughs> uh, general, uh, general, uh, general, uh, general. Uh, hey, hey. Yay. Hey, dog, Joe, I got hijacked, bro. Are you serious? Bro, but yeah, that's a story for Shit. just Shit, yeah, let's not, let's not speak on that now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, bro, there's a, there's, there's a team, the team assigned for, for something to come up with the idea, to execute the like, idea. So my part is execution. Planning and everything is up to the team. They build the storyboard, they build the timelines, when is it going to happen and everything. And I just come and shoot and edit to what they gave me according oh, okay. to the brief. Yeah, yeah. So I take that and apply it to my own stuff. So if we're shooting music video, for example, get the outline of what they want, yeah? give them a storyboard, reference videos to what they want, and dates, locations, and etc. budgets, like what do we need for this? Um, when are we shoot, shooting it? Where are we shooting it? Who's involved? How many people do we need? that comes after the idea is confirmed mm. like what are we doing um for example we want i don't know fast and the furious okay cool how many cars do we have how many people do we have for that scene so i'm more of an executioner okay than a planner is but it, i is understand it, is that it, process is an executioner the director or the producer like in excuse me like if we talk about on set now mm. like I'm sure they're not called an executioner. So that yeah, yeah, the formal yeah. term, what yeah. would it be? So I think I personally think the it would be a director because they make the final say. Okay, 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 makes sense. Um so if you if you package like for what you and I do, ne? Mm-hmm. If you package everything and kind of bring everything together, that's being a director because oh, okay. you leading yes. everything to the final product. To the final product, makes um, sense. That's what I'm saying. Like nowadays, bro, it's tricky to kind of define people because of how things work. Back back in the day, literally there'll be in the credits, you'll see who's doing what mm-hmm. and that's what they do. Um, but nowadays, everybody knows how to do a little bit of both and well not both like five things like because oh, sure. i'm sure you even know how to do audio yeah, yeah. but there's people that are supposed to be doing sound engineering idiots. you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. yeah so you're the director you do everything you're but a if, filmmaker you yeah. do everything um, from sound to directing to mm, but that's that's my process get the idea shoot um review footage and then edit or release you know what i'm saying mm. um usually <laughs> My here you know, my timelines are hectic because I do a nine to five. I do the same thing on my nine to five than I do like on a day to day basis. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's kind of yeah. I got like really long deadlines. Oh shit! So um, so yeah. with the thingy though, um, just to recap it, or just to like just take it from a step that I think I wanted you to like 
mention that yeah, kind yeah. of skip like if I am now an artist, mm-hmm. send it to Nyoga, it's a here's a thingy, I need a music video. Mm. Um so what's your first uh thing? Like are you listening to this track twenty times before you're getting back to this person? Mm-hmm. Um are you meeting up with this person, asking them, Hey, what do you feel from this mm. song? Um, what is it? Like me as an artist now, I've given it to you. Uh, hey bro, you have full range. So <coughs> It also depends on how they approach you. Yeah? So if a, an artist sends me a song and they, they tell me, yo, bro, what can we do with this? Then shop, I'll listen to the song, you know, come up with ideas and say, yo, I think we should do A, B, and C with this, with this track. Yeah. And execute it this way, etc. cetera. Um, and then there's another artist that will come and say, hey, bro, I have the song and I was thinking of doing this. Mm. And then I would suggest, hey, you know what, bro? I don't think that's the plan. We can try it, but let's also do this just in case you, yeah. don't, you don't hit that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Always suggest something that's going to make it better. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you guide the, the final results. So are you saying um, almost never approve the first thing that's thrown at you yeah never and you try to just look for things yeah to, always okay. always always look because more something. often than less the artists would miss yeah so like those. always always suggest something that's gonna make it better than okay. what it is oh shit. um i le- i learned this while doing graphic design where you do something and they say it's good but you can do better oh shit. you know what i'm saying like with posters damn sure it's good but you know try this try put that image there or social media content, make this animation go there instead of there, you know? It's oh. trying after trying after trying, trying after trying. trying. trying say, yeah. So now, because of that thing that's instilled in my mind, I'm like I look at something and I'm like, we can do okay. better than what this. What would I say? What yeah. Would I, oh, okay. We can definitely do better than this. I like the idea, I like where it's going, mm. but we can do better, we can push oh. it. Shit. Yeah. That's dope. So um, with the, um, I've thrown something at you, uh, Okay, two, this is a two in one question. Mm-hmm. So like, um, oh, all in, okay, I'm gonna ask this, it's a weird question. So like, I know, okay, to the topic of finance now, <laughs> of how people my, pay. My favorite, my favorite topic. <laughs> Grab me a whiskey there, so I need a club. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, yeah. so my thing is like, Okay, so if someone's coming at you, mm-hmm. I know this happens so many times. Muntu bonu to konite. Ah, bring it, bring it, bring it. Muntu bonu to konite postile. Mhm. They're like, "Hey, how much is a music video?" Mm. <laughs> 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 like a music video can be any price, guys. Hey, bro, like if I had to show you Not like any price, but like a music video can be so many prices. Yeah, bro. bro. So, can you can you try, or can we just try to have this discussion on, mm. from how you would rate your lowest music video mm. to, you know, we'll see where we start. We'll see where we start. Okay, let's, yeah. let's start from the beginning, bro. So, yeah. and this is me not saying I've shot high-end music videos. Just bro, a, but this is a disclaimer. Thing, like, I feel like, as well, like, like, give you that opportunity. Mm. You're in it, yeah. Well, so I think that's that's another thing why, you know, like, cause I I I would say that a lot. Okay, mm. I haven't done this and this, but this is how much I charge you. So my point with that is that, as much as I've never done a high end water water, it's because niggas haven't given me the, the upper, given budget. me the you know yeah, yeah, the yeah. real budget. You know what I'm saying? But I've seen and been around environments especially in advertising where they're shooting adverts and you see these these cranes bro just moving around everywhere and you're like damn that thing alone probably cost like 100k you know what mm, i'm saying mm, mm. and now i'm going to eight thousand so i would say dog i don't have i don't have cash but <laughs> yeah. i see you you're not fighting today i'm just talking you're not fighting um oh, we're gonna fight one day you know so <laughs> <laughs> my thing is ne, tiny you asked me hey bro i got this track okay. Can you talk to the um, dog. <laughs> I'm not even drunk, bro. Um, <laughs> um, I have this track. Um, 
I want to shoot this video. My first question would be, I right, cool, bro. What's your budget? Hey, dog. Hey, dog. I mean, if it's a clumpy, Nike or 2000. I right, cool. That's just me stepping out the house. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay. Real, realistically, okay, okay. that's the conversation we okay, have. Sing, sing a request, Dag. What next? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, here's. Okay, the, the thing about this, this subject, Uzi, if it's young teen, because. Hey, dog. Niggas, hey, dog. niggas think Uzi IJ and it just because you don't want to shoot for free hey, or shoot for low. You know dog. what I'm saying? Guys, you talk, I want to mention there, just to slide in quickly. By the mm-hmm. way, for those that don't know, oh. You still call me the name of Grim, dog. Some people know me as that, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, spill the beans. You know? <laughs> and yeah, you're like the, trying to, trying to cover up your names, like some people trying to cover up bones and shit, you know. <laughs> hey, like, but anyways, hey, I'm sure what's about bones. I'm sure what's about bones. Hey, bro, that I'm nigga, sure. that yeah, nigga. Sure. Got that fool, that's a fool, little girl. Anyway. So, <laughs> um, quick insights. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was cutting it. <laughs> They helped me a lot in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, like, basically my mentors in the beginning Eesh. while I was starting this whole camera shit. Mm-hmm. I honestly wouldn't have done it without them, bro. Like, yeah, they were very I'm helpful. definitely going to take this clip and put it all over the internet. <laughs> just to Cut it down. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm very, very grateful for the O's, bro. Like, besides the editing, but mm-hmm. it's also the thinking that was very important about this whole shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah bro, yeah, it was yeah, very, very yeah. important. So kudos to that. So, um, and another thing, bro, just to I want to put it out there is that, and I was telling Usaneda, he came to the crib the one day, and I told him, hey, bro, like, do you understand that we were doing this thing when it wasn't cool to do it? Mm, mm, you know what mm, I'm saying? Mm. Not at that time, not everybody was picking a camera up so and that's the thing. saying I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer. Yeah. So we we were literally pushing it, bro. And mm. we weren't good. We were still st- like students and that just landed with cameras because of school. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we wanted to do. We actually got out of high school and wanted to do this thing. Mm-hmm. And we are where we are because of that. You know what I'm sure, saying? Sure. And I think those those years, 20, 2016, those two, three years were important to where we are now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying like we are like at the top, top, but you can you can see the work you can see the level where Definitely. it is you know what i'm saying like those years we spent just going somewhere and shooting something for fun it built up to them. what we're doing now straight off straight you know what off. i'm saying and i'm sure there's more people like looking at our work and saying damn i started because of them mm. you know what i'm saying and also another thing that it's not like boasting or anything just because you know people look up to us doesn't mean you know it says no or, or last number, oh God. No, sure. bro, we're just doing our own shit. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? That's another thing is that we, we're not copying anyone. Mm. Like, Sanele and I style totally different. He does his own thing, I do my own thing. Sure. But at the end of the day, it's still dope visuals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. has his crowd, I have my crowd. Um, you have your crowd. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I'm has their own thing because... They do of what different they things. Do. Sure. Yeah. So it's not just a copy and paste type mm, thing. Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah. That's that's for sure. Now that's back sure. to the fighting. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about these budgets. <laughs> that's for sure. That's for true. So now it's like, um, I know personally now, like you, um, two years ago, if I asked you what's your price, you'd give me mm. something else. This year now, you ask me what's my price. You tell me something else. No, which is understandable. <laughs> Bruh, let me tell you a uh, conversation. I, I won't tell you who it was. I'll tell you after this. Yeah. You definitely know who it is. It's a photographer mm-hmm. around Durban. Pretty known guy. He asked me, because he wanted me, he wanted to hook me up with something. He asked me mm-hmm. how much Ben Ben, and I tell him. Mm-hmm. Oh, Twitter fingers. No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hey, bro, I don't know that nigga, but to the fingers. Anyway, <laughs> we out here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, T. T. <laughs> TBB. <laughs> it ain't to the fingers. <laughs> moving nah, on. Moving on. <laughs> they cause a crime. <laughs> you say so, we high. Nah, so this nigga, now, he, bro. he DMs me. He's like, nah, bro. Um, 
Kuni shoots me the show. Malin, in jail. Eke gets me na. It's funny. I'm like, I bought it. You know what camera I have? He has quality, he has equipment. Mm. I'm like, for him, me to even say this to you, it's like, it's weird. Mm. Like, you should know. Evan is like, Evan, because he saw that I mentioned equipment, he's like, mm. he's like, how? Shoots in the young boza, what's it? How near equipment do I buy my prize? How? How? What do you mean? So if I'm shooting with a Canon D600D and a Sony A7 III, it should be the same prices. You see, that's that's something you should talk about. It's, because it's like for me, it's like clearly this nigga don't know. Like he Bro, how? A guy shoots. Because he's not even thinking that those like pieces of equipment that you have are probably insured. You Bro. know what I'm saying? You have to pay for insurance every month. So you know what I'm saying? The thing I told him, which is what I tell clients as well when they don't mm. understand it, is a good thing. You know, first of all, just go do your research. Yeah. Mm. The qualities that you actually guys that you guys actually want, mm. what you see and you, the things that you point and you're like, hey, this is what I want. Go find out how much that was. How much it is, yeah. yeah. And then as well, just go find out how much it is to hire equipment. Like, because mm. I didn't know this for a while, but then my camera with that lens is 1.2. Mm. You know, that's without the stabilizer, that's without a memory card, that's without the skills of, because you know, skills is also something that counts, mm. you know. And people just seem to just cram it all up, put it in their pockets, so or just throw it away, or something like yep. that. You know. But like, like I was saying about when I was bringing the points about you know how y'all niggas helped me out starting off the shit and whatnot and mentors. But there's something else that you said that stuck out for me recently, mm. and it helped me be more confident on pricing and also just being like, ah. mm. which was. Um, you were like to me, you done music videos. Huh? Mm. How? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like, this nigga, I used to see him pick up a camera and do music videos. And it amazed me. You know, he contributed to my energy in doing mm. this. Now he's saying he doesn't do this no more. But how? You know? I mean, in my mind, I'm like, but I do also understand the very unfortunate case that artists in Durban are, are broke. Mm. You know, and not in a bad way, Oix. I'm also broke. It, it, but no, 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 <laughs> no. They're not broke. Let's let's put it there. They're not broke. Nega Fetsu. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, no. It's it's about you, bro. Nega Fetsu. Ngabe. Ebo. Ukokeli music vid. We say akbo na lapa e rich. Champagne, man. Right? Champagne. Yeah, well. Come on, kicks are fresh. Come on, rich. In, in, in I'm, not, I'm not saying like I work for rich, but I'm just making an example. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, niggas will do whatever, buy a drip and stuff, but fail to invest in the one thing that they really need. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a big part of why I stopped shooting music videos like the expectation is too high for too little Oof. You know what i'm saying and another thing i want to say this um and it may offend people it may you know not all of us are broke artists bro not all artists are hungry you know what i'm saying some of us actually you know we got decent lives and so you're saying we, us, like actually all of us is artists yeah, every, like, okay. I'm talking about Creators. artists as a whole. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, Pelagutsi, I was saying that because, you know, like, artists would be, like, titled with a musician. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm talking about artists, 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 artists and creatives. Yeah. Not all of us are struggling and trying to, you know, push it together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, like, beating down those people Don't that worry. are doing that. You know what I'm saying? I but see what you're getting to and they should also. Like, we need to pay bills and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need to pay for insurance for cameras we need to um buy new equipments in order for us to go forward so you can't come to me and say bro i've got a thousand rand or ish bro i don't have a budget can you shoot for me i can't do that mm. i can't risk my camera breaking i can't risk my lens falling for free hey. i can't risk me for example me as a person getting into an accident just because i went to go help so some so. nigga that I met somewhere and I don't, I'm not really friends with him. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, <clears throat> there are situations where, you know, 
<coughs> you can see good see this thing is going somewhere let me go with this person let me do the best i can to help them achieve what they want to achieve yes yeah. i understand that everybody has those connections you know what i'm saying but you can't just be now accepting free free jobs or everywhere around you because they that word of mouth will go because he'll he'll now suggest to his friends hey bro go to that nigga and then they also ask you for free stuff oh you shit. Know what i'm saying that it goes a long oh, way shit. not just that person that's 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 the the deep thing about this is that once you give out a free thing to one person it's what you attract you attract that mm. um so like in my, in my dm bro like people or niggas see the stuff that i post and they see the edits hey bro you should do music videos you do you do you do music videos how much do you charge i i like most of those dms like no because it's, it's you not, know it's, how it is it's not my place so I know what do I, you do do you look at the following no not necessarily yeah, i just yeah. how can i say it, bro like sometimes i just ignore it like completely it's like because i know it, even even if it's something it's not something i want to do so if i had stress and you know what mm, I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, another thing. It's stress. We fight the stress. And yeah, and also you can't accept everything. You can't accept. You everything. know what I'm saying? Like even if, he, let's say, he has a budget. You know what I'm saying? Like, but now, sorry to catch you there. Like for Abangabant as well. Like mm. listening to you speak and also starting out, whatnot. Mm. You can't accept everything for sure. You can't. But as well, let's go back to when we were talking about the amount of things that you did for free, though, and like, mm. I guess. You were accepting everything in a way. Mm. So now, like, how do you, like, how would you tell, like, how would you advise people to balance that or mm. to know, know when to say no, when no, when to say yes, know when uh, it's an opportunity, when it's not an opportunity. Because mm. yeah, a lot of a lot of artists, right? I was for the low line. Yeah, bro, we will we'll we'll blow up, bro. We'll blow up. We'll blow up. We'll blow up. We'll blow up. Now a dog, you must also see. You must see where these niggas is headed, where mm. these people that are offering you this opportunity, where you know what I'm saying. Like, mm. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention names, but like, I was offered a deal, like, to work with this big brand, like, a few weeks ago, but I turned it down because it came through the wrong person. You oh, know what I'm shit. saying? If, if it had, if it had come through the right person, I would have accepted it. I can't say, I can't say the name. It's a big name. I probably so, yeah, your show will probably get shut down. You know what I'm saying? But uh, not <laughs> <laughs> it's BTC, motherfucker. <laughs> we can do whatever. Where's my blood? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like bro, like I looked, I looked at the opportunity, and I was like, hey, bro, this is not what I wanted. Um, so I'm not gonna go ahead with it just because now it's there. The thing that I wanted is there, but it's being presented in a whack way. Yeah, in a whack way by the wrong person. Oof. You know what I'm saying? Oof. I think that's the best thing that could have happened. Yeah, so like sometimes you got to look at things and like, is this really what I want? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Do I really want to go shoot a music video for low budget? Do I really want to go shoot um, one picture for 50 Rand? You know mm. what I'm saying? Do I really want to, you know, you, you have to ask yourself those questions because it goes a long way. Because you, you, you must remember, as humans, we get used to things. And the more we get used to things, we're going to keep on doing it, doing it, doing Age. it. And then when it's too late, when something real comes up, you won't know how to react to that. Hey, so it's, it's, it's a, it's a long-term thing. you got to think of it long-term, bro. I definitely, about there, when you get used to a thing, mm. I can definitely raise it down. Because you, you come across so many people that... Um, don't have a budget or don't understand the worth of what you do mm. so much that you're used to it. And mm. when someone, hey, did, did you restart this camera? No. Oh, motherfucker. That's been like 10, 20 minutes, dog. Are you serious? Ah, oh, this can't. <laughs> Where did it stop, though? Nah, just sit down, dog. Oh, God. It's fine, dog. I asked you 30 minutes, bro. It's all right, bro. We appreciate you, Doug. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, episode four of Special One just dropped. Check it out on 
Ed Salele Grubber Page, man. He's an animator, not a videographer. <laughs> Excuse him. In a cut. Um, so as I was saying, what was, what was I saying? I was saying something very important, actually. I'm um, getting used to 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 the action of free things. Okay, oh yes, mm. and <coughs> oh yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so the the that thing there, bruh, mm-hmm. it's like it's like I actually forgot what I was gonna say about it, so I'm just gonna just gonna swing across. Just gonna move it. on. Yeah, move just gonna on. kind of move on. So <laughs> <laughs> average though now, we we came like that artists mm. should expect uh, I'm not the best, you mm. know, but like on a level of your music video. Mm. Yeah. On a level of my music video. Two day shoot, um, let's say both days, half day, maybe like you spend four hours each day. So eight hours in total. So four mm. four hours one day or four hours the other day. Um music video shoots, uh let's say excluding drone shots. Mm-hmm. What is each and every artist looking at average? You know, now coming into you asking, mm. and I'm talking about average as in you not necessarily having to rent equipment, mm-hmm. hire equipment. Uh, you can just use what you got. Mm-hmm. What what average are we looking at? But so before you answer that, can you also please just tell me? Mm-hmm. I've never hired equipment, Doug. Mm-hmm. So can you tell me like what? would be the go-to things that you would hire if you're going to hire for a music video okay so let's let's get that out the way um the first thing you'd hire is one lighting mm-hmm. um and how many lights like you probably probably two maybe you can push it to four leds you okay know? um a gimbal or a stabilizer some form of stabilization that sure. you not unless you can do handheld that's it's up to you it depends sure. on who you, who you are um yeah just lights and making sure the footage comes out right and maybe like two other lenses that you switch in between okay um depending on obviously what you want what you but want. basic 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 that's what you need so two, how much how much are you taking out to a higher on a basic basic Plus so nine. that's for i'm gonna on a day that's roughly about that's roughly about three to four grand. So you're really looking that's, at that's that's one four, day just hiring four grand to hire equipment to yes, shoot. Yes, yes, and that's day. and that's um, that's if you have your own camera or if you have a good enough camera. You oh, know what I'm saying? That's, that's now you're not hiring a camera. Yeah, you you're, you're, hiring camera, you're just you're hiring lenses, gimbal, lights. Just so with d- a camera though, you're looking at like five k, five point five. Bro, like not nothing be le- like below four k. Okay. Four to five k. Sure, sure. Um, and that's like at the basic level, bro. Like basic, basic things. Mm. Um, but just making sure it comes out clean. Just making sure it comes out clean. Sure. Okay. Not so we're already looking at five k. Mm-hmm. Oh, ten k. Because two day shoot, ten k. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So, if <clears throat> like for okay, I'm gonna speak on my on my terms because because I know people have their own pricing terms or whatever. 100%. So if you wanna shoot at me, ne? Two versus two hooks. Two days to shoot, um, and you know, all the hooks. Yeah, I come with my own stuff and everything. I'm looking at a budget minimum 7k. Okay, that's minimum. one day, yeah, that's one day. Sure, one day we can push it to two days. So, right now, I'm speaking is on this pushing it to two days with the 7k, yeah. So, okay. I'm right now, I'm talking about like Umuntu or Pantai dog, like. Mm. I'm not talking about someone who not a signed artist. Yeah, not specifically not signed. Or is that the only exception you have? I'm asking. Is so that like not signed because that's where the budget comes from. Yeah. So another thing is that we also we also as much as we demand pricing and we demand or need things to be paid off, we also got to look at the person. Yes. You know what I'm saying True. like who's supporting this person is mm, there true. a label behind this person true. if there's a label behind this person you definitely know they can push the budget mm. and they can make this video kick ass yeah you know what i'm saying but if you're helping out someone that's trying to do something with their shit hey bro i'm gonna encourage you to save up the seven grand oh, and yeah. make make sure this video Straight. hits you know what i'm saying um but if you have a, a label behind you bro that label can take out 10k 20k to make sure your shit is hits 
hits, bro. Yeah. Bro, people take out 200K like it's nothing. One day shoot's done. Mm. When it's all cut off, it's on 5K, 2K. So, like, again, I'm not, like, you know, coming at people, you know, not everybody. Not fighting this time. Yeah, not everybody's working and, you know, shit is tough. But at the end of the day, like, just like on, on, on our side, if we want a lens, dog, we'll save up. Mm. There's no asking the distributor to be like, ah, I yeah, can't bro. It on this like, we'll this save price. up and do things to make sure that we get what we want. Yeah. If you have to do shows to, you know, or like get bookings or whatever, or take your allowance or whatever to make sure you have a music video, then do it. Let me it's not good. see you popping bottles. Got the Zokala. When is Zokala go to? You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's 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 the sure. thing that gets to me is that you can do everything else but not pay for, for your video. own investments. Because sure. music video is not about the 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 creative. It's not about us. It's not about it all. It's about the artist. artist. Nobody really cares who shot who a music shot it. video. It's true. about how the artist is performing true, there. True. Only the and he's in a dope music. Yeah. Video. Only the specific people care about who who's involved in this the creation. The minority, the minority. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it's 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 got nothing to do with us. Tina said, "Hey, it's a lento, out." You know, sharp. It's a, it's a project that we did. You know, with with all other things, we keep things that we create to hearts and we keep it. It's always there, but it's not it's not it's not gonna make us money. It's gonna make the artist money. True. You know what I'm saying? Um, the artist is the one that's gonna sign the deals. The artist is the one that's gonna get the bookings. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Little Cheetah can decide to get an, a better videographer or video editor than you when he blows up. Straight. So in a heartbeat. So it's not about us essentially. That's, that's what I'm trying and to. And the whole so story of uh, she's a blow up. I equal as well. Bro, like I've seen, I've seen people like just get thrown like trash after years of working together just because they they are where they wanted to be. Mm. Um, but that's a different conversation. That is a whole different conversation. That's a different conversation. <laughs> but I've actually now that you mentioned it, I've only yeah. seen it uh, happen twice mm. with an artist taking it along. And it's actually been the two young artists, which is nice to see. Mm. What's the guy's name? The photographer, Tembi or something like uh, that. Uh, Teddy. Yeah. Teddy. Yeah. And then as well as U Blackie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Dando. Yeah. Dando shooting for Black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's also been like a. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just mentioning the two things that have actually You've happened. Seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. say, hey, blow up, hey, let's go. Mm. Yeah, well. And because because as an artist, they are more fortunate in a position where they can make those decisions. Mm. But if I'm an artist now and you've been shooting for me the whole time, if yeah. I get signed to Ambitious, I can go yeah. to Ambitious and be like, hey, here's my shooter. Yeah. No, I'm signed. You signed. Yeah, bro. Straight up. So I can't do anything for you. Mm. Like an, a good example I can make um, from this is AKA's old photographer, U Blacksmith. Blacksmith, yeah. That guy... Um, <coughs> I don't. I obviously don't know the terms that they 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 were on, but he worked with AKA for a long so, time, and people knew would say Asikis Thomas AKA so Puma, and this nigga didn't yeah, shoot yeah, it. Yeah, sure. And that built, you know, to Some, where he is now. This oh, nigga sure. shoots up into normal tape. He's shooting all Barack Obama yeah. because he went through that phase the with. Phase of you know AKA. what I'm saying? But at that time, he saw would say, "I know, bro. I'm sure, like." In his mind, he was like, bro, I'm going to do the best that I can right now with Umeka, shoot the best visuals, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's things like that that you look at. Hey, this is an opportunity. It's bigger than me, right? The pictures are not about me, but the opportunities coming might it's be, gonna, might be big. It's going to benefit me. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, so you gotta you got to be careful with who you... Devote who you, that time to. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be careful. Like you got to be careful who you let slide to do things a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. if for example, discounts. You got to be careful who you give discounts because of what story they give, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like hey bro, I I've got 2000 rand. I'm just making an example. I got 2000 rand, but trust me bro, I'm I'm working. Well, I'll get 2000 rand another 2000 later, you oh, know what sure, I'm saying? Yeah. Like and you see, Woody, this person's not really. It's all in their actions, bro. Like mm. you see, Woody, this person's not really serious. serious. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. person's always like out partying, and not that I'm saying like 
going out partying is wrong. Out partying. But you know, exa- but nah, we, we, you know, but you know, what it's like that's that's with. the most basic example I can use, my nigga. Like, yeah. hey, bro, this thing it goes a long way, bro. Cause like, I'm like a Nazi as let's let's say as like videographers, ne? Sure. I'm like dog city. We saving for a lens, but. Every time we get paid for a job, we going jawling. So, 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 so. But Nazi lens, if it's so, yeah, boy. Now so. you can't do proper work. Yeah. Because you out jawling where you should be buying a Saving lens. Saving up for your lens. Sure, you can you can go out jawling when you set when you have extra money. Your lens, sure. Jawl if it's an eye leg. Eye by leg. And jawl. Louis Vuitton shoe. You get lens if it's so shaliko. Showcase we looked and got eye by leg. He pose you. You know, that's the, you know, that's the thing about lockdown. <laughs> Let me not say. Let me not say. Hey, that niggas, that nigga Cyril is speaking at 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 eight. Yeah. Speaking at eight. Giving us. Hey, shout out, shout out there. to Cyril Ramapo. Ramapizi, oh. shout out to Ramapizi. Anyway, it's not about him. It's not yeah. about him. But anyways, Doug, I think that's right about the time we have. I like to keep mm-hmm. this below. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep it short, hour. bro. Let's keep it yeah, short. I would like to definitely have you back on. He has yeah. quite a bit too. He has big ideas for next year that he would like to come on and speak about. Mm-hmm. So we got to speak about that. Um, I was supposed to actually have Clinton as episode number 10. Oh, Got shit. that bit to Clinton, look at Nakuzaneli and look at Delay. <laughs> come, on, Clint. come on, Clint. Come on, Clint. Come on, Clint. Come on, Clint. As I, w- I worked with Clinton, bro. When? At... Um, Guerrilla Creative Media, he... Oh, like the 9 to 5, you're with him. Yeah, so as I, I was about to leave that month, he came in. Oh, shit. As a, as a multimedia designer as well. So, yeah, I've, I've worked with him in, in agency, and he did some really cool shit. He does some really cool shit. Really cool shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, hey, who am I? I don't know, and you'll never know, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, that's, that's all the time we got. That's all the time we got. Uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. That's all the time we got. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of uh, Peace. EPTC. Uh, it's your boy, Tiny Films in the Cut. Just follow me, uh, Tiny Films underscore. You can also get my merch. Uh, hey, discount where's the free promo, merch? Discount promo. I came on the show, bro. I need free merch. Discount promo code is in my description. I need free merch, bro. Bro, I just wanted to say that so they can hear it. No telling, I mean. You can follow. Can you please give me your handles, bro? My handles. Yes, sir. Siabong underscore Nyog. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Just search on Google and you'll find me. No team to go on. Excuse me? No team to go on. What are you saying to me? Tinder. Tinder. Oh, shit. No, no, no. <laughs> bro, I'm, 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 yo, I'm locked down, bro. Six oh. years relationship. What are you oh, talking shit. about, nigga? <laughs> I thought we weren't gonna speak about no that. No one's swiping I... left on me, nigga. What? Over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you can also follow uh, Sanela Kwabe. It's uh, Sanela dot Kwabe. Sanela underscore Kwabe. Sanela You'll find the guys. It's the proper picture where Michael Jackson's kissing a baby. Um, yeah. Yo, hey, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Is the camera on, bro? It's on. No, dog. We gotta speak about this. <laughs> That shit's concerning, bro. <laughs> bro, like, no, I'm not gonna ask him because he's, I had, he's I had gonna never give really me noticed something. it until my girl was like, "What?" Same thing. The baby bro. wants to cry. <laughs> like my girl was like, "Why does he have a picture of Michael Jackson holding?" Yeah, and I'm like, "Hey, bro, he he knows what he's doing. I can't hold the nigga, but like, we need to speak about this. This is serious, no, we bro. We need to speak about this right now. Like, what?" <laughs> It, are you gonna come on and and, and, and tell us what? <laughs> like, bro, I'm, I'm like I'm I'm concerned, bro. Oh, okay. yeah. Why do you have Michael Jackson with the baby on your profile pic, man? Uh, you see, Respect the thing the is, nigga, he's dead, bro. <laughs> no, bro, like it's as much as <laughs> a much deeper meaning. Okay. Behind it, you know. I told you he's gonna say yeah, this. Um, I'm a very huge pop pop art fan and to me the first time I saw that picture it was like the most popular culture thing I've ever seen in my life hey. it's like a hungry baby pop art, like Kumbula, and the biggest pop star art. remember pop art <laughs> yeah uh, it's a dope era man 
<laughs> it's not an era. I mean, it's still happening. Uh, no, it's but like uh, you know, we 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 grew up knowing that it it was an era because of yeah. what we studied. Yeah. But so, anyway. so you know, people like um, uh, Takashi Murakami, um, Andy Warhol, all those pop artists. They you know they did similar sort of concepts in. The, the the amount of consumption and everything and yeah, that kid is like poor in poverty the which kid is that he's, yeah. he's holding and the kid is like poor and Michael Jackson is like the biggest pop artist like ever but and but and he's like it's like <laughs> no listen it, the 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 comments and talk around Michael Jackson you know what I'm saying you know yeah, you like know that's what I'm saying. Him. That's and why. That's why I'm seeing that to. picture. Yeah, for us who you know who oh, don't. It's like you, uh, exposing him. Yeah, like no. we we don't we don't have the Back background with you know no, for I'm people not. who don't have the background for pop arts. What no, are they going to do? Like, can you can you do us can you do us a favor? Can you post that picture today and just explain the backstory? Like, yeah, as a post no, on your Instagram. It. It's why? It's because like the, the public like demands it, bro. No, man, like. <laughs> how, how you see that picture is how you feel about that picture, but to me it's like I it's feel just, offended. It's the most I popular feel culture but thing our, I've ever seen. In, in, in our defense, we mm-hmm. It's also like um, the way we see your profile and your wall is the way we'll see that profile picture. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we are close, but it's you got a fucking penis running around. How am I gonna look at that That's profile valid. picture? That shows not for kids, bro. <laughs> Ah, he said it though. Corny, corny. Oh, it is a day. It was oh, a 16. 16, eight, I guess. But that's in a sub big. That's a sub big. 18. 16, that's a sub big. Loop. Yeah, that's what kids. No, but you see what I mean though. Like, it's like how we supposed to just switch to, okay, let's be serious. Mm. No, no, I mean, like, obviously, it, it's, it's like, there's no serious, there's no joke. It's uh, just like how you, how you feel about that picture. It's how, it's how you feel. You know, but to me, it's just like the most popular thing oh, shit. popular culture thing i've ever seen in my life okay so we have we have an understanding now. yeah it doesn't like, mean anything you're not you're not insinuating anything no i'm not insinuating with the michael jackson this, this, i don't know I really you're not you're not saying to the world this guy i won't say it no and that's that's the thing that's that's the thing that's the thing about the picture it's like how you it makes see you it think, bro. it's like how you see it do you really see him helping uh, poor baby or do you see him like you know like you know and that's in a way goes back to you like when you look in the mirror and you're like okay why how do, how do why you, do i see that how do you how do you YouTube do how, how do YouTubers say it again oh yeah the pictures gonna pop down below Oh, oh yeah, yeah, hey, yo, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, I ain't go. <laughs> it's I ain't up go. here, yeah, yeah. It's up, it's up here. We're hey, holding it. Hey. Tiny, tiny. It's, this is your editing job. Hey, bro. I ain't go do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the picture that my whole life. <laughs> that we talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the one we're talking about the whole time. Yeah, this name. You know how, you know how stupid you're gonna look when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> he stole my shine, bro. He stole my shine. <laughs> he actually did. He's blocking your backlight. But anyways, um, thanks guys. Yo. Please, please subscribe. Uh, and yeah, peace, love, and happiness, y'all.